So just like we had elementary equation operations and then we translated those into elementary row operations, now that we have a matrix algebra, we're going to translate that further into elementary matrix matrices. Uh, and our, our row operations will just become multiplication by these elementary matrices. So remember that we had three essential operations. So the first operation was we add a multiple of one row to another. That was one thing. Two, we can multiply a row by a scalar or just a real number. So in other words, say scalar. Scalar just distinguishes this from a matrix or later a vector. Three, we can interchange rows. And basically we want to figure out matrices that are going to do all of this for a particular matrix. So for one, we're going to say that this matrix, the matrix where I add R times row I to row J, we're going to set that matrix equal to E I J of R. And when we multiply that times A, here's what we want to have happen in the long run. We want to take A, and when we, we want to add this matrix that's R times 0, dot, 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 0. We go down a little bit, and then in the Jth row we want A, I1, all the way up to A, I, say N, many columns. And then we want to finish that off with zeros. You know, unless unless I is the first row, in which case it'll go here, and if it's if I is the last row, then it'll go here. Um, but this right here should be the jth row. That's what we specify. So if uh, if we manipulate this using our our matrix algebra, well, this is the same as identity matrix times A plus The matrix, where I have zero up to here, I have zeros everywhere, except for an R in the Jith entry, and I multiply that times A. So what will this do, right? So this is the Jith entry, so this is in the Jth row and the Ith column, right? So when I mean, we multiply this. Uh, you know, this is zeros everywhere except for that R, right? So what will that do? Uh, it'll hit the Rth, or the Ith row of A. It'll, that's all it'll hit. And it'll place it in the Jth row of this new matrix. So this, this is exactly this, right? If we look at that multiplication. So using our distributive law, remember our distributive law, we now have I plus this matrix where I put a 1 and so I'll denote the 1 there uh, in the jth entry times a so this this guy right here that's my eij of r so I'll, I'll be using this notation a decent amount so this means that uh, I have a matrix and I put a 1 in the jith entry and zeros everywhere else. So that's my first row operation and it's represented by this eij guy. How about my second row operation? So I want to multiply a row uh, by a number, say r. So I want to multiply the ith row by r, a. So what do I want that to be equal to? Well, 
essentially it's going to be a diagonal matrix. Right, so 1, 0. It's going to have 1s everywhere except for the i the I, I diagonal entry. So it's going to have zeros everywhere else. The column will be populated, but nothing else. And then this guy is going to be the i i th entry. And I want to multiply that by a. And what will that do? Well, it'll give me a, the same a for everything else, but it'll multiply the row by r. Right, so this is my e i r, where I just put an r in the diagonal, the i i th entry of the identity matrix, essentially. So this is, this guy is just my e i r. And that's, that's my second elementary operation. Now it's a, it gets a little confusing for the the interchange because I want to get rid I, I want to get rid when I interchange I want to get rid and I want to add a guy right so what's this equal to that's equal to well a and I want to get rid of the ith row of a right so I essentially want to subtract off the matrix where I have zeros and the only thing I pick up is the ith row here and it's in the ith row I want to subtract off zeros so I want to get rid of the jth row now j1 up to a j n and this is going to be in the jth row so this guy is in the ith row This guy's in the jth row. And then I want to add AI1 IN only I want this to be in the jth row now. Plus, and now I add the j the the jth row of a to the ith row here so now i'm going to have a j1 up to a j n zeros elsewise otherwise rather uh, in the ith row and uh, this matrix is a little bit complicated Seem seemingly this is really complicated it's actually not Right. So, actually, what I'll get it looks something like this. So I'll have a uh, using using the uh, distributive law again. I'll get i minus one one i i minus one in the j jth entry plus one in the j ith entry plus one in the i jth entry times a. Right. And this will be my e i j. So basically the only thing that I'm changing here is I've got essentially the identity um, and then I'm going to get rid of the ijth entry, uh, the ii entry and the jj entry. I'm going to kill those. That's all that this part means. And then I'm going to kind of swap those and that that will indicate that I want to swap row i and j. So now let's, uh, let's get an example of these things in action.